Hello everybody, I thought I would give you a, a tour of my music room. It was originally our spare bedroom, but uh, as my record collection grew, I uh, took it over as a music room. And at one time it was really quite organised, but uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand as my collection keeps growing. I really must set some time to um, sort it out very soon. But anyway, I'll show you how it is at the moment. And um, we start at the wall unit next to the door. And uh, that's my C start of my CD collection there. It's from A to B. I keep them alphabetically. Um, and then go down with my computer. And then next to that, I've got three um, IKEA units uh, with LPs in. And the top ones are military band and uh, sort of easy listening band music. And then going down to sort of easy listening like... Um, uh, people like Shirley Bassey and Tom Jones, that sort of thing. And then moving down, um, more of the same. Then the next one down, that row there is, uh, those two rows are my records that I had originally from the 1970s, the ones I bought new at that time. And then below that are soundtracks. Next to that, um, I've got a unit of uh, more CDs, again alphabetically. Um, and then the next to that, I've got some DVDs on the top shelf, uh, more LPs, this, these tend to be country and western, um, Glen Campbell, people like that. Next is another row of my original LPs from the 1970s. Uh, some CDs, and then going down, we've got some more easy listening, um, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Nat King Cole. Next to that, uh, we've got a cupboard, and this cupboard I keep all my mini discs in and uh, there's also some boxes of CDs as well and it's the same in the cupboard below that then moving around under the window I've got my hi-fi equipment um, this is uh, my Project Genie turntable um, I tend to play all my original albums and the uh, 180 gram reissue that I buy uh, I played on, on that one and then next to that, um, it's a um, Reloop DJ deck that I bought about uh, three years ago. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good deck. I haven't used it a great deal, but it is a very, very good deck. And then moving down to the cupboard, and inside the cupboard I've got my mini disc player, if you can see that, and my CD player in one side. And then on the other side I have um, another mini disc player and my amplifier. And just underneath the unit there I keep a couple of my um, 1960s uh, record players. There's a nice Marconi phone one there. And then look over to the other side. I've got another unit here. Now these are all my classical LPs. So all these in this tower here are classical LPs. <coughs> Moving around again, I have some more CDs, again in alphabetical order. And uh, then I have my easy chair. And the cupboard behind that holds all the sort of loose items like blank discs and things like that. And then I have my set of shelves here and then I have four turntables and an amplifier there. Um, this uh, this Technics deck was the one I had originally. Uh, I think I bought that in about 1983, something like that. And it was at my parents' house for a, for a long time but uh, I've now brought it over. Um, and then above that one there's a dual deck that I got from a charity shop for £5. And then there's another one. This is a, a Cam a DJ deck again. This one I got for £10 off eBay. Um, and then below that I've got a Newmark DJ deck. This is, um, there, was, there was two I managed to get off eBay for £10, so literally £5 each. Um, I don't really need all these decks, but I just don't seem to be able to uh, resist them if I can get them very, very cheaply. So I tend to pay all my charity shop records or records are not in, in tremendous condition, I tend to play on these four decks. There's the amplifier there, 
and then another CD player and mini disc so that I can record um, LPs onto mini disc and I've got a couple of speakers there and then underneath here I've got more LPs and they tend to be sort of uh, rock and pop that sort of thing moving up onto this side here I've got more CDs again still in, all in alphabetical order um, and then these here, these are sort of unsorted. I haven't actually got around to filtering those in to uh, to the um, to the others. So it's uh, quite a daunting task because you have to move every one. And then moving around here in front of the wardrobe, I've got more LPs, sort of more pop and rock LPs. And then I have another unit. This time this one's on wheels, so I can move it out of the way of the wardrobe drawers. And again, pop and rock. Then on the floor I've got another crate full of LPs and then the ones on the floor here, these these are ones that I've got recently. Um, they're all cleaned up and ready to go but I've, I've yet to play them yet. And then just moving around here again I've got another box full of records. These are quite newly acquired. And then in the yellow box here these are, these are my Records, my new records, um, the reissues, the 180 gram reissues are all in there as well. I had to keep those separate from the others, so I keep those in that box there. So, there we are, that's, uh, that's my music room. I hope you enjoyed it.